Let's talk about why you should use the master slide the next time you create an activity for your students using Google Slides. First and foremost, when you use the power of the master slide, you'll go a long way in preventing the accidental deletions of the very important pieces of your Google Slide. You can also go a long way in helping save a little bit of the headache for the on-purpose deletions that students sometimes um, end up making. Let's jump into an activity that I created for kindergartners. Now, if you've ever worked with some of our littlest learners, you know that sometimes clicking and dragging or manipulating or just being on a slide will mean that there are going to be accidental deletions. And there's nothing more frustrating for a student, especially our, our youngest ones, when you ask them to do an activity and then either A, they don't know how, or B, something happens and then they really can't. So you, if you know anything about slides, you know that you should be able to come down and select each of these. Do you notice a difference? Do you notice how you can't select the image? You can't select the text, but you can select the speaker? That's because these three items were created and still can be edited on the master slide. The speaker, in order for it to be able to work, must be on the face of the Google slide. This goes a long way in helping my kindergartners be unable to delete the bulk majority of this particular slide. I did the same on the second slide where the speaker can be selected because the students need to be able to do that, but they can't select, therefore, accidentally delete any of the rest of this. They can still ever However, click in here and be able to type. It's a lot of picking and choosing what's going to help fit the best for your activity. Let's jump in and see what this actually looks like. To find the slide master, remember how you can insert it by clicking on this shark tooth. And you notice that the only slide masters that I have are one specific for this activity. I've deleted any of the blank ones or changed them into the ones that I need for this activity. In order to do that, click on slide and then edit master. Notice how the screen changes but still looks very familiar. These are still the slides that you see out here to the left, but here, I can select and even edit, if I chose to, the text that's here. I can also change out the image or move it if I need to. As a teacher, we always find that we make mistakes and we want to improve or add to it or take this and make it work for second graders, possibly third graders, maybe even higher. This is how you can do that. I hope that this is a tech tip that you can do and that you take with you and that you explore a little bit. I didn't become a master overnight and I'm certainly still not a master, but I am learning more and more about how this slide master can go a long way in helping me create activities to lessen my frustration as well as my students' frustration.